I remember about a number of years ago, I was learning in yeshiva, as I was sitting in the Bet Midrash, suddenly I turned around and noticed an elderly man walk in to the yeshiva. He looked very put together, very well dressed, nice tie, nice cufflinks, nice watch, fancy belt, fancy shoes. I didn't think too much into it, I just went back to learning. About an hour later, I hear the doors of the Rosh Shiva's office open, the Rosh Shiva walks out and he looks around, and as he's looking around, he notices this elderly man who's still standing in the back of the yeshiva. He approaches him and he introduces himself to him, and he says, oh, can I help you? What's your name? And the man says, oh, my name is Stephen so-and-so, I'm actually a professor from Harvard University. He says, oh, so what brings you here to our yeshiva? He says, you know, in our universities and our colleges, in the end of the year, during this time, we have something called the graduation. And in the graduation, we have a custom where all the students come together and we take all the books and all the papers and everything we've been studying throughout the course of the year. And now that we're done with the curriculum, we take the books and we, we tear them apart and we throw them up in the air like it's confetti. Because we don't need them anymore. We don't need this information anymore. It's out of our sight, out of our mind. And I was wondering, what do you guys do in yeshiva? with all the Torah that you learn over here? Do you throw out your Gimarot and your Talmud? Do you throw out the Chumashim and the Sudurim when you're done with it? What do you do with your Sifarim, with your books? So I came out of curiosity to see, and as I was walking into the Shiva, I was looking around to see if there's any bonfires, anyone making fires, throwing the books into fires. I didn't see any of that. I was looking to see if maybe there's a dumpster filled with books, and I didn't see any dumpster with books. And as I walked in, I admired what I saw. And Rabbi, I want to tell you, I was very moved by what I saw. I was looking around, I saw at the end of the day, had the boys got up from their chairs and they took the safer, this that they were learning, the Gemara, and they picked it up and they gave it a kiss and they showed it such respect and such honor and then they placed it back onto the shelf so they could return to it and come back to it. And I said, this book must be very special. I don't know what it is that you guys are learning, but whatever it is, it's for sure eternal. Because you keep coming back to it and learning again and again and again. And Although our books, they're very limited, very rigid. You learn it one time, you understand it, you move on. And then you delete it from your head, you dispose of this knowledge. But you, this information doesn't just hit you over here intellectually, but it hits you right over here in the heart. And it penetrates through your heart and it seeps into your souls. And you become better people as a result of it. It molds you into the people that you are. It makes you more refined. It makes you more moral and more ethical. And it gives you values. And that's something our books will never give us because what you have must be divine. And so you treat it with the proper respect. And I say this professor is right, that the Torah that we have is infinite. It never ends, because it's written by the one who's infinite, by Hashem Himself. And Hashem has no limits, He has no bounds. And so this Torah that He has given us, it has no end. And the more we learn it, the more we develop our character, the more we improve as a people, and the more we become the people that we came to this world to become, and even more so, we develop that relationship with Hashem that Hashem so much longs to have with us and our souls long to have with Him. So learn the Torah, but don't just learn intellectually, but take the lessons that are hidden within it and keep learning it because the more you will learn it, the more you will see there's so much more there and the more you think that you know, the more you realize that you really don't know.